Black America needs a healing, number one. And I think this is part of it because everybody's acting a fool. Every, it's like, what do you, what, it's not even, when I got in this business, it, it was all, I was the outsider looking in going, damn, oh shit. I wouldn't go to award shows because I didn't feel good. I was like, I don't, I don't you know, let's just say, you know, even though I was acting, people knew me, I'm like, I'm not going to that. I remember, um, Maddie Johnson had his birthday party and uh, <laughs> uh, Robert Town said, man, you should come. I said, what the fuck Magic Johnson at? I get to this Magic Johnson. Denzel watch all these people. Hadn't met Denzel. Hadn't met Paul. And I'm sitting there and they come to me like, we really love you. I'm like, fuck my head up. Mm. Like they knew who I was. Yeah. Isn't that the best feeling in the world when someone that you admire walks up to you and tells you how much they love your work? And you're surprised they even know who you are. They even know who you are. Yeah, that, that, when that happens to me, it's always like, it feels surreal. Eddie Murphy would talk to me and I'm like, this, this is the fucking reason I'm e even in the business. Mm. And I'm like, this motherfucker. <laughs> People always say, uh, when you're around Eddie Murphy, what do you, are you guys, you try to be funny? I'm like, fuck no, you're studying this motherfucker. It's every move. It's like you, you you sitting here with like, and he talks shit. He talks shit. Oh, me and Heavy D are sitting there talking. Eddie Murphy comes by and he says, "What do you got doing trading recipes?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Rest in peace, Heavy D, man, the overweight lover. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> trading god. recipes. And that's what I'm saying. This business using Heavy D is one of the nicest people you could ever meet in this big recipes but it was like those people are gone and now we just stuff with trash will smith slapped chris rock at the oscars and then sat back down and got his sat award back down and watch the oscars right and won and what i'm like Something is clearly flipped. Yeah, I think security was too scared they were going to get slapped themselves. Well, you know? I don't... Because Killer Mike... Well, it's pretty big. But it's the, he's the last person you... They go slap him and then... And then be scared of. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But Killer Mike pushed somebody and they... Got arrested. <laughs> That's true. I'm like, what the fuck? He, I don't even know what happened. Yeah. I just know it was an altercation. But... I'm sure he, it wasn't as bad as the uh He didn't walk Chris up Rock and slap. slap a motherfucker. Yeah, I don't think he did. And sit down and say, suck my I dick. I don't think he did. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it, I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's like, we're not being good stewards of of the art of, of the, of, they say, who black, what did they say? Black culture. What did they say? Black greatness and all that shit. We not being that. When I first came in here, that's what it really was. It was, you know, Bill Cosby was setting an example. You know, it was like, that's what he meant by, don't have your pants down like that. And you don't, the, how you talk to people, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was all about. It was leading to this right here. Pound oh, town. You so see, you feel like he saw the future. And was yes. Trying to, was trying to detour it. Yes. Hmm. Okay, I see where you're going with this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, that's fair. Look where we at now. This motherfucker's on a, a, a platform talking about other people and not uplifting the art or pushing it forward. Just this person. Then Monique gets on there with her bullshit. I'm like, the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck has Monique done to be the great Monique? Precious and Fat Girl, and what? That's it. The TV show. Yeah, I never really watched the show. No, who watched it? Is this... <laughs> <laughs> How you should treat me as, listen, an Oscar is really not that hard to win. Mm, I don't know about it, that. Listen to me. I, I don't know about that. It's who not... do you know that's won an Oscar that Jamie was me Fox. mediocre? 
he was not mediocre. No, 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 no. He was. I, I, no. Yeah. I'm not saying she, I won't say she's mediocre, but she's you know I, I love her. <laughs> Holly Berry. Holly Berry. But she's not mediocre. Cuba Gooding got one. I he, never. He was good. He was good in that role. I wouldn't say great. So I, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the Cuba Gooding one. You know, and he pretty much stuck to that character every movie. Every movie he started to yell in the same way that he did in that same role. And, and he was good in other way. And then, yeah, yeah so I, I, I was like, so I always say a broken clock is right twice a day. Right. So, I mean, Monique was playing herself. So she was a child molester. I mean, every uh, time I hear just in real life? I, listen, she keeps saying daddy or daddy. And that's some pimp talk to me. I'm like, oh, this is a pimping hole game right here. We'll, we'll talk about her in a second because I got my own, my own stories with well, her. I, I'm just going as, a, as, you, as you're throwing them, Black. Right. Well, Kat said, Faison said getting a Netflix special is easy. I have 12 specials. Guess how many Faison got? Zero. That's very true. Uh -huh. Guess who don't got to do one? Uh -huh. I got 93 movies, dumbass. 